So this Friday mommy moment is for everyone who has moments. I love coming to do Friday mommy moments because everyone has a moment. I have moments. And the last thing I ever want anyone to think is that Ivy has it all figured out because I don't. I'm relying on God to pour into me and for me to give out. Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seaver Family. I'm Ivy, and thank you for joining me for another Friday Mommy Moment. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. The first thing that we do here on Friday Mommy Moments is shout outs, and today, my special shout out is going to my beloved husband, Dandy Seaward the third, okay? Babe, thank you so much for continuing to push me, continuing to be my number one supporter, continuing to deal with all aspects of being with me. I appreciate you so much and I thank God that I have not only a husband, but you're my best friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope that you know that. And today, you guys, I wanted to recognize my husband because so many times when this camera shut off, nobody sees me, nobody deals with like me. They know me, but my husband is like, he knows what I'm feeling before I even say anything. He can sense some things and it's like, Without him, I just don't know where I would be. And I know a lot of people can say that about their significant other, but my husband is truly, truly an amazing, amazing best friend to me. And he lets me know that all the time. And so this week's Friday shout out is going to him. Like you are my number one. I can always count on you. I can always share with you. I can always just look forward to talking to you when I don't have the attitude. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get into this mommy moment, shall we? Yes, we shall. Let's go. All right, you guys, today's mommy moment is kind of different because I want to talk to you guys about my week. This week was uh, difficult for me. Um, about three days this week, I was just mentally exhausted. And sometimes that happens in life. Like life just happens and you just like, Come on, God, you gotta keep me going. Come on, God, you gotta keep me going. But this week, it really bothered me. And my husband really, really encouraged me and stayed on me this week. And I love hard. When I befriend someone or when I'm into something, I give it my all. I don't do half steps. You know, I just really throw it all in the basket. And sometimes life doesn't give you that back. And when that happens, it's just like, man, you know, sometimes you feel like you wasted your time. You start rethinking how you move and should you change? Well, what about when this happens? Should you react this way? Should you react that way? And then you just, or I just found myself like, I really don't want to change who I am. But because of how that situation ended up and because how this situation ended up, maybe I should guard my heart more. Maybe I should not, I don't know, love like how Jesus loved. Love how God tells you to love. Sometimes when you do what you're supposed to do, you get burnt so many times. And Courtney and Eddie, if you're not subscribed to them, Courtney reached out to me and, um, she said something like that to me today. She said something like that to me today. And you guys, there almost wasn't a Friday mommy moment. Like there almost wasn't one. I was like, you know, um, maybe it's not supposed to be a moment this week. I was re really just thinking everything because sometimes people hurt you and they don't even know that they hurt or sometimes people shade you and they don't realize that they're shading you. And you really don't know how to go about it because you don't want to offend anybody. You don't want to, make anybody feel not welcome, but sometimes you just get burnt out. And I felt like that's where I was, or not, when I think of burnt out, I really don't think of that. I think of just questioning myself, of what should I do? How should I do this? Well, God, this keeps happening. Like, maybe I should fall back. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. And God's just like, 
don't do anything. And I'm like, what do you mean don't do anything? He's like, don't do anything. Continue to be me. Continue to love like I love. And if things happen that aren't to my liking, still continue to love. And continue to be me because I'm not happy when I can't be me. I'm not happy when I can't love on people. I'm not happy when I can't be free and be the person that God wants me to be. And I brought up my husband because I can always be that way with my husband. Like I can always bounce ideas off of him. I always know that his response is for my best interest. If I have an idea, he's there. If I have a, a down moment, he's there. But when Coco hit me up and she was like, it's in you, you know, you got to continue to do what God wants you to do. And, and that's be me. If people burn the bridge, then that's on them. If something don't work out along the line, then, then that's, on, that's on them. But as for me, I'm not going to continue to critique who I am or to continue to find out strategies to love on people and to be around people and to do all these things when God just wants me to be me. And I know I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect, but what I mean is I don't know how to shut off a love button. You know, I, I don't know how to not love on people. People reach out to me and I, and, I, and I do my best to guide them in the right way, but it sucks when um, it's not reciprocated. And I know people's like, it's better to give than to receive. And no, you're always giving, you're giving you. Sometimes what you give is not material. Sometimes what you give is, can't, you can't touch it and when that's given out it's hard for somebody to reciprocate that because it's just different it's, it's your type of love it's your energy it's your vibes you know and then you know just dealing with negativity like people constantly taking subliminal jabs and and it's like you know in this world that we live in it's already dark why can't we all just try to be light it's hard ducking and dodging all the time, but when you put yourself out there, that's what you get. So it's like, why even talk about it? So I found myself there as well. But God still wants me to be me. He still wants me to be loving. He doesn't want me to close up and isolate myself. I am good for closing up and isolating myself, like boop, cut off, boop. But no, readjust, continuing to readjust and continuing to stay focused and I'm gonna have days even after this video you're gonna have days I'm gonna have days it's how we are human it's how we continue to call on God to help get us along the way but I'm glad that even though God is there he sent me my husband to help push me along the way somebody to count on no matter what time of day the energy is all I don't know how my husband deals with me point blank period so today I wanted to come and talk to you because maybe you guys have days. Maybe sometimes you feel burnt out. Maybe sometimes you feel like you're constantly being put down. You're constantly being poked at. You're constantly being the big bad wolf. Nobody hears your side. Nobody believes you. Or you just feel like you're all alone. Maybe that's you. Well, I want to let you know that you're not. Sometimes we can overthink things. Sometimes we can let something sit longer than it needs to sit before we give it to God. And I wish I would've gave it to God earlier this week, but that's not how life happens. I wouldn't, I, you have to go to a course. God loves when you come to him and talk to him and work out things with him. He already has the answer. He's just waiting on you. So he already know that I was gonna be right here talking about right this, this, all this, he already knew. But you have to still continue to take the steps. So this Friday mommy moment is for everyone who has moments. I love coming to do Friday mommy moments because everyone has a moment. I have moments. And the last thing I ever want anyone to think is that Ivy has it all figured out because I don't. I'm relying on God to pour into me and for me to give out. That's what I do. That's what I do. And even when I get let down, even when I get put down, even when things just seems like, oh boy, here we go again. He's always there. He's always there and he's always to, there to remind me that he's there. Like today I was praying that there would be sunshine. Like just like, God, please let them flowers pass by and let the sun come on in. And it's just that. It might be cold, but it's just that. So you guys, I hope that me being able to express myself to you today help you somehow. 
And if you're going through anything, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Hang in there, hang in there. And Lord willing, I will see you guys right back here next Friday. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? like you and if you're not feeling needed remember here on the soren seaver family channel you are needed you guys you are needed let's keep showing up peace out